क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर ट्वेंटी इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टार्स एक्सरसाइज वन राइट द प्रॉपर वर्ड्स इन द ब्लैंक्स ए When seen from a great distance the sky seems to be touching the ground along a circle this circle is called the horizon B the ecliptic is used while defining the zodiac signs C classified according to seasons one season will have 9 nakshatras D The rising of the sun in the east and its setting in the west is the apparent motion of the sun. 2. A star rises at 8 p.m. tonight. At what time it will rise after a month? Why? Answer. The stars rise 4 minutes early every next day. Therefore, after a month it will be 120 minutes or 2 hours earlier than tonight thus the star will rise at 6 pm after a month 3 what is meant by the sun enters a nakshatra it is said that in the rainy season the sun enters the mrug nakshatra what does it mean answer as the earth changes its position due to its revolution a different constellation or rashi appears behind the sun every 30 degree 20 minutes but this is expressed as if sun has entered a particular rashi so when we say sun has entered mrug nakshatra actually mrug constellation is behind the sun four answers the following questions a what is a constellation answer a group of stars occupying a small portion of celestial sphere is called a constellation some of these stars appears to form certain animal or human finger and objects these is constellation are known by the brightest star present in it b what points should be considered before a sky watch answer all the equipment such as good quality binocular telescope the sky map the compass to show directions are to be gathered before sky observation the place for sky watching should be away from the city and illumination of city lights the night for sky watching should be a new moon night for a darker sky c is it wrong to say that the planets stars and nakshatras affect human life why answer distant stars planets comets or any constellation do not have any influence on human life in the age of scientific and technological progress man has stepped over the moon soon in this century man will step on the mars too therefore unless it is scientifically proved we cannot say that planets stars and nakshatra have impact on human life 5 write a paragraph on the birth and life cycle of stars using figure 20.1 answer the stars are born out of nebula which are the clouds of hydrogen gas and dust particles in the nebula there are particles that are attracted toward one another due to the force of gravity this makes contractions in the clouds resulting into denser and spherical bodies at the same time at the core of clouds the pressure of the gas increases this causes rise in the temperature to tremendous extent the energy is generated due to this condition 
this spherical cloud of hydrogen is called a star. The process such as contraction, expansion, rise in temperature, etc. bring about changes in the nature of the star eventually. These changes are very gradual and spread over a very long period of time. They constitute the life cycle of star. Astronomers identify these different forms of the star at various stages during their life cycle. They are then named with some identities.